Yeah. For us, though, other than some clouds today, nothing yeah. major? We'll just hold on to cloudy skies, but we will still be warm. Now, the clouds work in our favor in terms of limiting the overnight lows from dropping into the 40s, so we're waking up in the 50s, and that sets the stage to allow us to get to the 70s because that cloud cover is going to limit the warmth. A live look over our South Park neighborhood, which is dark to get your morning started, just like it is over King Street in Boone, Independence Boulevard, and Uptown. The good news here, you notice no fog on any of those uh, cameras, which is why we have a, a nice smoother start to your day. Cooler start as well with mid 50s taking hold, upper 50s Monroe, and of course you're in the 40s towards Boone and Jefferson. In terms of how warm we get today, I'm calling for a high of 71 for the Queen City. For context, Chicago forecasted to get to 72. You know Chicago, the windy city, those brutal winters. Here in November, they're looking warmer than the Queen City. And how's this for comparison? Even all the way back towards Albuquerque, New Mexico, cooler than what Charlotte's going to be. Even Las Vegas out in the desert, peaking at 63. We're going to be almost 10 degrees above that for the Queen City. Home, we're looking at high pressure impacting that forecast, giving us those winds out of the east northeast still riding the cloud cover that starts to develop over the Carolinas that could give us a sprinkle or a stray shower for some of our mountain counties around that I-40 corridor not a washout but maybe just a little bit of a of a drizzle here and there of mist for some of the higher elevations can't rule out a very stray shower as you head into your afternoon for Wednesday, but I still think we stay mostly dry and cloudy. Overall, we clear out heading into your Thursday as high pressure dominates for the rest of the week. Sunny skies on Thursday and we'll stay clear heading into your Friday morning. Cool overnights, warm afternoons with 70s sticking around. Your leaf blowing forecast. I know those yards are probably starting to get inundated with those leaves with that fall foliage peaking around the Queen City. We still have light winds today and into the next couple of days with high pressure and control. You're good to go until the weekend where those rain chances come back. So keep that in mind. Overall, low 70s before mid 70s take over for the weekend. Overnight lows in the 50s. We'll roll those clocks back one hour Saturday night into Sunday. Mid to upper 70s kick off early next week.